The Bodhi tree Sanskrit, Bodhi also known as Bo from Sinhalese, Bo, Pipal tree, or Arasamaram, Tamil, Arakamaram Devanagari, Papala Ka Para was a large and ancient sacred fig tree Ficus religiosa located in Bodh Gaya, Bihar, India, under which Siddhartha Gautama, the spiritual teacher who became known as the Buddha, is said to have attained enlightenment or Bodhi. In religious iconography, the Bodhi tree is recognizable by its heart-shaped leaves, which are usually prominently displayed. The term, Bodhi tree, is also widely applied to existing trees, particularly the sacred fig Ficus religiosa growing at the Mahabodhi temple in Bodh Gaya, which is often cited as a direct descendant of the original specimen planted in 288 BCE. This tree is a frequent destination for pilgrims, being the most important of the four main Buddhist pilgrimage sites. Other holy Bodhi trees which have a great significance in the history of Buddhism are the Anandabodhi tree in Srivasti and the Bodhi tree in Anuradhapura, Sri Lanka. Both are believed to have been propagated from the original Bodhi tree. <laughs> Celebrations Bodhi Day On December 8, Bodhi Day celebrates Buddha's enlightenment underneath the Bodhi tree. Those who follow the Dharma greet each other by saying, Buddha Saranai, which translates to, May the peace of the Buddha be yours. Topic. Origin and descendants Topic. Bodh Gaya The Bodhi tree at the Mahabodhi temple is called the Sri Maha Bodhi. Gautama Buddha attained enlightenment Bodhi while meditating underneath a ficus religiosa. According to Buddhist texts, the Buddha meditated without moving from his seat for seven weeks 49 days under this tree. A shrine, called Anamizalokana Satya, was later erected on the spot where he sat the spot was used as a shrine even in the lifetime of the Buddha. King Ashoka was most diligent in paying homage to the Bodhi tree, and held a festival every year in its honor in the month of Kataka. His queen, Tisarika, was jealous of the tree, and three years after she became queen i.e., in the nineteenth year of Ashoka's reign, she caused the tree to be killed by means of mandu thorns. The tree, however, grew again, and a great monastery was attached to the Bodhimanda called the Bodhimanda Vihara. Among those present at the foundation of the Maha Thupa are mentioned 30,000 monks from the Bodhimanda Vihara, led by Chittagata. The tree was again cut down by King Pushyamitra Shunga in the 2nd century BC, and by King Shashanka in 600 AD. In the 7th century AD, Chinese traveler Zanzong wrote of the tree in detail. Every time the tree was destroyed, a new tree was planted at the same place. In 1862, British archaeologist Alexander Cunningham wrote of the site as the first entry in the first volume of the Archaeological Survey of India. The celebrated Bodhi tree still exists, but is very much decayed. One large stem, with three branches to the westward, is still green, but the other branches are barkless and rotten. The green branch perhaps belongs to some younger tree, as there are numerous stems of apparently different trees clustered together. The tree must have been renewed frequently, as the present pipal is standing on a terrace at least 30 feet above the level of the surrounding country. It was in full vigor in 1811, when seen by Dr. Buchanan Hamilton, who describes it as in all probability not exceeding 100 years of age. However, the tree decayed further and in 1876 the remaining tree was destroyed in a storm. In 1881, Cunningham planted a new Bodhi tree on the same site. To Jetavana, Srivasti Buddhism recounts that while the Buddha was still alive, in order that people might make their offerings in the name of the Buddha when he was away on pilgrimage, he sanctioned the planting of a seed from the Bodhi tree in Bodhgaya in front of the gateway of Jetavana Monastery near Srivasti. For this purpose Magallana took a fruit from the tree as it dropped from its stalk, before it reached the ground. It was planted in a golden jar by Anathapindika with great pomp and ceremony. A sapling immediately sprouted forth, fifty cubits high, and in order to consecrate it the Buddha spent one night under it, wrapped in meditation. This tree, because it was planted under the direction of Ananda, came to be known as the Ananda Bodhi. Topic. To Anuradhapura, Sri Lanka 
King Asoka's daughter, Sangamitra, brought a piece of the tree with her to Sri Lanka where it is continuously growing to this day in the island's ancient capital, Anuradhapura. This Bodhi tree was originally named Jaya Sri Maha Bodhi, and was a piece of another Bodhi tree planted in the year 245 BC. Although the original Bodhi tree deteriorated and died of old age, the descendants of the branch that was brought by Emperor Ashoka's son, Mahindra, and his daughter, Sangmitra, can still be found on the island. According to the Mahavamsa, the Sri Maha Bodhi in Sri Lanka was planted in 288 BC, making it the oldest verified specimen of any angiosperm. In this year, the twelfth year of King Asoka's reign, the right branch of the Bodhi tree was brought by Sangamitta to Anuradhapura and placed by Devanampiyatisa his left foot in the Mahamegavana. The Buddha, on his death bed, had resolved five things, one being that the branch which should be taken to Ceylon should detach itself. From Gaia, the branch was taken to Pataliputta, thence to Tamiliti, where it was placed in a ship and taken to Jambakola, across the sea. Finally it arrived at Anuradhapura, staying on the way at Tivaka. Those who assisted the king at the ceremony of the planting of the tree were the nobles of Kajaragama and of Kandanagama and of Tivaka. The Jaya Sri Maha Bodhi is also known to be the most sacred Bodhi tree. This came upon the Buddhists who performed rites and rituals near the Bodhi tree. The Bodhi tree was known to cause rain and heal the ill. When an individual became ill, one of his or her relatives would visit the Bodhi tree to water it seven times for seven days and to vow on behalf of the sick for a speedy recovery. Topic. To Honolulu, Hawaii In 1913, Anagarika Dharmapala took a sapling of the Sri Maha Bodhi to Hawaii, where he presented it to his benefactor, Mary Foster, who had funded much Buddhist missionary work. She planted it in the grounds of her house in Honolulu, by the Nuuanu stream. On her death she left her house and its grounds to the people of Honolulu, and it became the Foster Botanical Garden. Topic. To Chennai, India In 1950, Jinarajadasa took three saplings of the Sri Maha Bodhi to plant two samplings in Chennai, one was planted near the Buddha temple at the Theosophical Society another at the riverside of Ajar Estuary. The third was planted near a meditation center in Sri Lanka. Topic. To Thousand Oaks, California, USA In 2012, Brahmanda Pratap Barua, Ripon, Dhaka, Bangladesh, took a sapling of Bodhi tree from Buddha Gaya, Maha Bodhi to Thousand Oaks, California, where he presented it to his benefactor, Anagarika Glenn Hughes, who had funded much Buddhist work and teaches Buddhism in USA. He and his students received the sapling with a great thanks, later they planted the sapling in the ground in a nearby park. The trees of previous Buddhas According to the Mahavamsa, branches from the Bodhi trees of all the Buddhas born during this Kalpa were planted in Ceylon Sri Lanka on the spot where the sacred Bodhi tree stands today in Anuradhapura. The branch of Kakusanda's tree was brought by Rikananda, Kanagamanas by Kantakananda or Kanakadada, and Kasapas by Sudama. Uses Prayer beads are made from the seeds of Ficus religiosa, considered sacred because of the closeness to Buddha himself and his enlightenment. See also Bodhi Adamasthana References External links The Bodhi Tree Network, listing of branches, saplings of the Bodhi Tree around the world, cultivation tips of Bodhi Tree, and how to share Bodhi Trees. The Bodhi Tree Meditation, a Buddhist practice based on the Buddha's Night of Liberation. The Bodhi Tree Revealed by Old Picture.